know what we haven't done in a while? A Let's Play video. And you know what I think we should do today? A Let's Play video. The difference is, unlike the previous times where you couldn't really engage yourself with what I was showing you because it was mostly explaining how to play things and just showing you things within the game, this is a full-on RPG, which is a role-playing game, and you can almost watch this like a movie where I decide the outcome. So I thought it might be more interesting for you guys to watch me play a game like this where there's something for you to really participate and maybe get involved in. Like you can really engage with what you're seeing because it's a story playing out. So if you guys do end up liking this, please comment down below, let me know, and then I will continue the series and we will see the rest of the story. So let us begin. I did play this one time before, but I only got up to chapter two. They're very long chapters, which is not a bad thing. I like that. But, um, and I do believe not all the chapters are out just yet. They're still releasing them. I do believe chapter seven only recently came out a little while ago, but I will do this uh, either one chapter at a time or half a chapter at a time. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how long they go. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm just gonna delete the last one that I did and start completely fresh so that we can begin the story anew together. I'm gonna read a little story synopsis aloud to you guys just in case. Uh, the, it should be recording the audio this time, but you know, just in case. <laughs> For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, that the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. So we play as House Forester. We can't really play any of the main characters because it wouldn't really make sense with what we watch on TV and reading the books. Oh, of course. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. Some friend. Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So what really? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here and they'll say it was them. Wow, they don't you give you a lot of time to pick an answer. Ah. Well, I don't have to be. I'm round his ankle as ten others took him down. Jeez, <laughs> what did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you out for he crossed the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your leads, Lord, some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. 
His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> That's your call. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in the North! North. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods are famous. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Aye. To the Lannisters! Aye! Aye. Iron from ice! Aye! Aye. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. But? On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. So maybe don't I drink. He were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire. But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. Ooh. It's well deserved, Clara. We're Thank you, moving on up. I promise. I to the east down. side. I mean, the vanguard side. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. No. Yay. BT dubs, guys. I tend to always try to play the good guy. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you, so I outrank you. You should help me. I said okay. You don't have to be a dick about it. Like, I'm half a mind to be like, never mind now. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up ignoring what you said the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. You'd better watch your tongue, Holly. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. I have to put a little so language lot, disclaimer no for this video. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not covered in big shit, shovel and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never Brat. be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I There's know, way lower than squires, squires dude. Pulling the line around that fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle had cast in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Honestly, what a crybaby. I'm a jerk, too. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Oh, he's a bad guy. Uh-oh. Nice night for a wedding. It's a nice day for a wed wedding. So I changed the lyrics a little bit. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Dude, pay attention. What? Something's Hello. going down.
just gone into you. Right, you rather odd. We need to get back. Now. You're fine. Make it wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. You can take the fucking flagon already. Run, Forrest, run. What's wrong with him? Oh my god, that must be the best point I've ever made. Matter. Boyd, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Shh. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> nope. No regrets. Yep, I did. Because you know what? I'm not going to get killed trying to save his ass being a jerk when I need to warn my lord. Sorry. I'm still a nice guy, though. Don't distract him. reaction time to do what the directions tell you. to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Sure I did. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Hey, Find a weapon. I had to warn y'all. Seriously, Forrest, run. Oh my god, oh my god. Seven hells. You wounded my lord. I've suffered worse. All the fray said time's over. Shoot. I don't think he's gonna make it. This with your life. You tell it I am wrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. 
I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. I won't leave you, my lord. And you will. My lord, I... God, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Dunker. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those forest though. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking yeah. foresters! I don't think it matters if he remembers it or not, because he ain't gonna live. <clears throat> Oh, maybe. We love oh, oh, no. Never mind. Run, dude. Jesus. What are you looking at, man? You're next. Go. Oh, we get the intro. Nice. Sorry, sorry. I forget y'all can hear me humming along. I'm gonna shush. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut it off here, and we're going to continue the actual episode. We'll call this the prologue. We'll continue the actual episode uh, next time if you guys liked this. So please let me know if you'd like to see me continue playing this game. I personally am going to do it either way, but I would much rather record it for you guys to vicariously play along with me. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you like this video, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. I will see you next time. Bye.